Welcome to the video. Five reasons you're not losing weight. Five Just reasons. To, it's, it's cheese. Caught in the root. <laughs> Stuck in the root. Just move it over. All right, there you go. Um, yes. Yeah, so five reasons. Five reasons. What's the first one? The first one is you've done the crime and now you're doing the time. Many women and many men, they come to my lifestyle, our protocol, and they gain weight because they have a past of dieting, fasting, calorie restriction, and now they're going through the metabolic rebound, AKA adaptive thermogenesis. Yeah. So if you do the crime, you will always do the time. And impatience is most people's worst enemy. Yeah, they want, it, they want, they want results so quick. Yeah. That's right. So if you've done years and years of yo-yo dieting, you can't expect to have your goal physique and your dream body within a week or a month <laughs> or even a year. Even with it drugs. It takes time. Yeah. Even with drugs. It takes time because this is not another quick fix. It's not another fad. This is a lifestyle. It's something you commit to. It's true. It's true. If you want me to add anything to Natasha, just let me yeah. know anytime. Was there anything you wanted to add about the impatience yeah. with, the, with the metabolic Especially rebounds? Americans. Like, I live in California, really? I live in New York, I love over there. But something about Amazon. Like, Amazon, because, same day shipping. <laughs> same day shipping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are just like, okay, like, I bought your ebook, I bought this, now where's my results? Yeah. Like, this ain't Amazon's same, same day shipping, this is your metabolism. That's right. So if you have cooked your thyroid gland and your TSH is like up over like eight. Yep. Your testosterone tanked because you've been on the birth control for the last 10 years. Like, it's going to take you a long time. It's going to take you enough time, I should say. That's right. For your and body to heal. It is, it is a case by case basis. We can't give you an exact time frame because everybody's different in how much damage they've done. So, we, we can just say it will happen. It, like, you will get it your 100% will happen. We, uh, we have an example here, and this is a really good one to put it into perspective. You've got two twins, oh. they are both five foot ten and they are 100 kilograms the first twin we got to 100 kilograms through a high fat diet just gorging on the fat meat, the protein cream, the meat the dairy the eggs the oils. oil just cram it in up to 100 kilograms the second twin got to 100 kilograms through water fasting starving juice fasting and then binging yeah so yo-yo dieting Kibble dieting starvation binge starve binge starve binge the metabolism is damaged the thyroid is cooked and then you shoot up to 100 kilograms yeah so those are the two twins the first twin that we got to 100 kilograms through gorging on fat is going to lose weight a lot faster on a high carb low fat vegan diet than sure. the second twin that has the metabolic rebound from the starving and binging because yeah that, that first fat twin their thyroid and hormones are going to be in a better situation than the twin that's done the yo-yo dieting. Correct. A great example is you see in the, in the islands, the Pacific Islands, these people, we see in that documentary, they just, they're, yes. they're not doing diets, they're just smashing in so much fat. So much fat, yeah. And they're just like huge. That's right. And they, uh, they, they showed us. They respond really well to low carb, uh, low fat. They, they, they uh, took them to the supermarket and they were loading out bottles of oil, tins of mutton. All this low carb food. Mutton. And they, they opened the tin and the meat was covered in fat. <laughs> and they're open about it, they're like, yep, this is what we eat because it's cheap and it's meat and yeah. we want to eat meat, yeah. so. That's just, yes, they're, they're obese on these low carb diets of uh, fatty meats, so yeah. Okay, on to reason number two. Reason number two, what's reason number two? Number two is you are still eating too much fat. Yeah. You are not disciplined or strict enough with your fat intake. Fat, am fat amnesia, we call it. I get many, many questions every day, many comments, and uh, girls will say, for example, I'm doing high carb, low fat, but I'm just gaining weight. And I click on their profile, and, <laughs> and they have food posts, and they've got buttery pastries, buttery danishes. They have plates of food, and I can see the oil sheen. I can see the oil bubbles in the stew, the curry, the soup. That's just the flash. <laughs> it's just the flash. Someone said that, it's just the flash. That's right. <laughs> so you, you are not being strict enough with your fat intake, which is essential for fat loss. Uh, so when you have your profile in public and I see your fatty food post, then that makes it really easy for me to guide you and say, come on, you have to watch the avert fats. No oil, no nuts, no seeds, and keep it at 20 to 30 grams maximum daily yeah, you so you, the best results. You, you have to be honest with yourself 
You should count fat grams, not calories. Count fat grams. Because the fat you eat, the fat you wear. Count fat grams. You, you have to be honest with yourself. You can't be like, I'm getting fat on Natasha and Doon Rose diet. It's like, no, you're not even following our diet. Yeah, or our lifestyle, our protocols. Yeah, that's right. So, if you're eating... Grab that cap in the, <laughs> the shot. <shock and, laughs> She's chirping. This is broiler puss. So, if you're eating uh, 50, 60, 70 grams of fat daily, it's too much for your goals. So she's a you, scraggler. She's a scrambler. <laughs> she's a scrambler. Let's get it. <laughs> this cat has anorexia. Let it cut. <laughs> she wants to do some cardio. <laughs> yeah. She's a bit flustered. Born on the back fence. Reason number three. You're not losing weight. Certain medications, including SSRIs mm -hmm. and the pill, cause weight gain. I've seen this in many, many people, including my own mother. Scientists, like yes. Him. Scientists don't know exactly why. That That's right. So many antidepressants cause weight gain? They, that, yeah. But they do, in a lot of people. To this day, they don't know exactly why SSRIs cause weight gain, but they think it has to do with how these medications interfere with your serotonin combined with your adrenals. Yeah. I had a friend in... Uh, 1996 young he was a chinese malay kid super athletic his yeah. name was nick good funny dude yeah and uh, he had a bit of an issue issue with marijuana he, he uh just smoked some high grade skunk and yeah you know, had a few late nights and sort of ended up like, having a bit of psychosis but yeah. they put him on the ssri drugs and he gained literally like 40 kilos in oh, you know in a matter of months for, like 40 kilos it happens he got his massive stretch marks on his arms i was just like what what's going on like at least 40 kilos so it's so, uh, those things definitely a factor there regardless of your diet ssris will not allow you to be your leanest self impossible and impossible. uh in most people and uh and the pill as well the the contraceptive pill which uh, wipes your natural testosterone level mm. which makes it harder to burn fat yeah so yeah you, you want to keep an eye on what medications you're taking and yep. doctors doctors aren't obliged to tell you the side effects it's that's, that's up to you which is crazy isn't it doctors are a fee for service modality there so if you get your drugs don't just think that you can just pop them with no consequence like understand what you put into your body you and... have to research this be aware of the side effects yep. i speak to people and i tell them the side effects of the drugs they're taking and they're like i didn't even know that yeah like Shit. how can a doctor like prescribe these things and not say hey print out the consumer medical information sheet uh -huh. as you, when you buy it or google it up because these things the all drugs have oh, side effects potential Correct. side effects yep. some of them are benign some of them are, you know, are malicious so you want to uh, be aware of that you do especially if it goes weight gain or health all right number four stress you're stressing on a daily basis cortisol stress raises your cortisol which will increase your belly fat now this is really important because your weight is not determined by calories it's determined by hormones so if you're stressing you've got that cortisol up you aren't going to be burning fat yeah so it could be you're stressing out your partner at your family at your friends at your boss at your children the dog barking next at door. your pets Boy. so uh, you you have to take <laughs> it's so funny this cat we pick her up and she scraggles but she's just constantly rubbing her on my legs oh, and rolling around on the floor oh your little face she's a bit of a bipolar puss Bipolar. Quite well, a lot of bipolar medications can cause weight gain. So stress. Well. So you have to take control of your stress. If you are working a stressful job that you hate, I don't know why you're staying in that situation. Yeah. You you have to do what makes you happy. Yeah. Get your kids go live, live Skid Row. And uh, live back at Brent, back at Brent, Brentwood in the hills. What is amazing about the high carb low fat diet is that when you start getting enough sucrose, glucose, and fructose to your brain each day, your your ability to handle stress will improve a lot. Yeah, serotonin for sure, by increasing because, it with less sugar. Yeah, because your brain is able to regulate the dopamine, serotonin, and you, you're gonna feel much better. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, but again, people just suffer because they're like, oh, but sugar's bad, carbs bad, beans day, like what? Like, like look, at our, look at our lifestyles, look at our results. Yeah. Is this video here judge by results not by theory yeah. because there's a lot of bollocks theory out there a lot of theory which has an agenda is funded by the main dairy industry or doesn't fight doesn't you know take into full context uh, exactly things. and context context is powerful context yeah. is massive there was this vegan youtuber dude out there the other day Mick the vegan I know hate but just comments and criticisms he said that they induce fatty liver in geese by feeding them dates and I'm like, why would someone feed 
an expensive food. Is he talking about the the foie gras? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And I'm like, what? this is based on some literature from a few hundred years ago, which uh -huh. no one was there, so I don't know the full story. But generally, geese in the pan get fed anything. You know, they just stuff it down their throat. Of course throat. they do. They put tubes down their gullet. So why, why would they? Yeah. Stuff it. Why would they? To make um, it fat. Yeah. <laughs> but he was trying to say the dates, and I was like, you're idiots. Like, where's? I'll give I'll give someone twenty thousand dollars if they can show me the fruitarian out there or the person who follows my protocol with fatty liver. You know? Where where's my fatty liver? Happen. Where's my fatty liver? Where's his fatty liver in after nineteen years? Nineteen years high sugar diet. Yeah. Where, where where is the fatty liver of anybody who's got results on our protocol? What an idiots. Nick the vegan. Yeah, well, I guess it's clownish behaviour. He contradicts himself and the audience are confused. And that's why he can't. Yeah. That's why he can't coach people, and why he does not get the results for people that we do. Even his girlfriend's just like a, a caffeine addict. You know, she just can't yes. function without drugs. And, and it's like, and, you're a drug addict. And I bet he says green tea is good to drink. But he's a drug addict too. You know, coffee. And, uh, yeah. If you're addicted, if you can't do a day without caffeine, you, you are addiction. a drug addict. You have a dependency, right? and it just needs same. to be addressed. So, yeah. so right. don't knock people who don't but need to rely on drugs to get something done. Reason number five: sleep. Oh, yeah. Rest, so important. Sleep, water, sugar. If your sleep is lacking, you aren't going to get the results that you want and you won't be able to reach your full potential. The early nights are really important for your hormone health, your well being, your mood, and that determines your whole perspective on life. 100%. 100%. Sleep increases your dopamine, increases your serotonin. Cocaine increases your dopamine as well. Yeah, you know, so people are like, oh, if you can't do carbohydrates because they increase your dopamine, because like cocaine does, well, sleep increases your dopamine. That's now, having a cold shower, going to a beach, yeah. having a hug, having sex with someone you like, that increases your dopamine. Mm -hmm. Should we stop all the activities? Because yeah. someone says, cocaine increases dopamine, so dopamine's bad. It's like, give me a break. Sleep's so important. Never feel guilty for resting. If you need a nap, have that nap. It can be so refreshing to have that nap at 1, 2 p.m., whatever, and that sets you up for a productive afternoon. 100%. Yeah. I do... Yeah, generally like two round, two or three rounds a day, you know, have a little nap here and there, and then boom, start your round two or whatever. Some people just like smashing the coffee, then you dig yourself in a bigger up. Don't do that. And it's, it's, it's amazing how all of these things link up. If you're not getting enough sleep, you're going to be more stressed. And if you're more stressed, you haven't eaten enough sugar. And when you don't eat enough sugar, you go for the stims. And then you can't sleep. And then you can't sleep. And then you can't store enough glycogen. And then you get more stress. And then you have more binges and fatty stuff. That's and then it. You don't get enough glycogen. So it's, like, it's, a, it's all it's all connected. It's, it's, a, it's like a string. It's just it like is. they're all connected. You pull one little string, the other ones get out of balance. It's like a spokes of a wheel. You tighten one up too much, it just gets out of what wobble. And that's why balance. The, and that's why balance. the lifestyle is so important. It's a it's a holistic approach. Balance. So there you have it. The top five reasons you're not losing weight. Yeah. If you could relate to any of these, then you know what to do. <laughs> if I was a girl, like people say, but what about this person? I'm like, why would you listen to them? Like, if you want Natasha's bikini body, like she's got no surgery, nothing like that. Not, not that's a bad thing. I'm just saying, she's a full natty here. So if, if and uh, and her physique, you know, like that's like every, anyone can have a slim physique out there. So and without starvation. So if you're a girl, why would you listen to anyone else? You know, who's getting liposuction or using body tune or whatever, you know, and or who's or using old photos like this. What's the date today? This is a new video. It's what the 21st of October, it's 2020. Like that, yeah. And so, like, this isn't a video we filmed five years ago or whatever. A lot of people recycle photos from five years ago, which is fine, but if you're using that person for weight loss advice and they don't look lean today, you're like, well, hang on, like, if your program's so good, how come you don't lean and fit today? You know, you know the, the easy answer is look at them. Do you want their results? Or do you want mine? Yeah. Who is transparent with what they do? There you go. There you have it. That's, uh, yeah, if I was a girl, I'd be some Natasha, Natasha only. Just forget everyone else. Otherwise, you're going to chase your tail. You're going to be playing tennis with different diets and used to it. It takes so long to get a body like this. Why waste another day in the wrong direction? All right? This is for Carb life. the fuck up. There you go. See you soon.